Welcome back to the Pentest Workshop. In this video I'll be demonstrating two new features, the default service checklist and the service command library. These features will help you speed up your enumeration and make sure you don't forget the simple stuff. Let's get started. We'll go into our Hack the Box Retired Engagement. And we'll open up the Falafel machine, which we did in a previous video. And if we take a look at the HTTP service, you can see that I've been using my global service nodes as a makeshift way to issue commands against this specific host. And the way I was doing that was using this shortcut here. And this will export a couple of environment variables which they, then we can use in our commands by simply typing $IP. I'm going to move some of these into my service commands for the HTTP service specifically. Now I'm going to start with the dir search command here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to jump over to the add commands to our library. Here, some of you might have seen, this is a similar interface to when we edit our scan templates. We can add a command, and we'll paste that command here. We'll keep the $IP and dollar $port. We'll simply name this dir search. I want to make a note that we're doing the HTML, PHP, and txt extensions in this command. I'm going to add one more. Same command, and I'm going to change this oops, to target more of a Windows server with ASP, oh, ASP, ASPX, and DLL extensions. Great. And I want to move this below here so that we have our HTML, PHP, and TXT command right at the top. Let's go back to our port. And now we don't need this command in our global service notes because we've got it built into our service command library right here. And the difference is with the service command library it replaces the IP and the port directly in the command. So there's no need to use this export link here anymore. You can sim simply copy the command, jump over to your terminal, paste it in, you're ready to go. The other feature I want to show you is this new checklist feature. Now the checklist feature, this checklist is specific for this port. And if we want to move this robots.txt, make sure that we always check the robots.txt. We also probably want to run some of these dir search commands. And we probably want to do a nick2 command also. Now the great thing about this is we can click this little save button and it will save this as our default service checklist for the HTTP service. And what that means is the next time we scan a host that has the HTTP service this checklist will automatically populate and we can start working off of this checklist. You can go into your default service checklist manager, take a look at all of your different services that you have checklists set up for. So let's demonstrate this new feature. We're going to add a new host and we're going to target the Mirai, I think that's how you spell it. Call this a server, Linux, add host. And when we scan this machine, it 
This host does indeed have an HTTP service. We're going to load this file in. And now on this brand new host, when we open up the HTTP service, our default checklist is already populated. We have our service command libraries with the two commands that we entered and we're ready to rock and roll. So as you can see with these two new features, my global service nodes, I can pretty much move all of these commands into my command library. I can move this reminder for the robots into my checkbox and my global service notes become notes rather than commands and reminders. Of course, all of these things have managers attached to it. We can go to the global service notes manager. The service command library manager. And the default service checklist manager. These are all available from your account menu as well. And that is the new default service checklist and service command library features. Thanks for watching.